I mean, um, it's still kind of sinking in. As the winner of the 2019 Sunday Times University of Warwick Young Writer of the Year Award is Wayne Dunkirk. Being a recipient of an award that so many writers which you've admired, I've admired, and being aligned with that is is is, is an honour. But also, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing in a way. It's not I honestly didn't come here expecting this. So but so I generally am quite in, yeah um, taking that in. This is an honour. Thank you. Thank you for the judges. It's only as a teacher, actually, that I started to realise how, I guess, unique my upbringing is, in that I had two parents who were from two different places, but one thing that they that they connected with is that they both loved poetry, they would both read poetry to me, they both had their favourite poets, and then, you know, teaching poetry and going into schools and prisons and all these different places, and and realising that the kind, of conf the kind of relationship other people, a lot of other people have with poetry is quite, sometimes quite negative and quite daunting. Um, and I always think, wow, I'm really lucky to not, to have had poetry teachers and for that to begin at home. I'm you know? really glad my mum is here for this one. <laughs> so, thank you, mum. I started writing the, the Perseverance when my dad passed away. Well, well, actually, some of them was written just as was coming up so I would have been 25 when I started um, and I you know so it's good five years that the book that I was just writing I didn't know I was writing a book until uh, Tom Shivers at Penny the Margins um, he came to a reading I did at Keats house and he emailed me afterwards and said hey those poems you read are really good you need to send me them so I Waited about two weeks, and I sent him everything I was working on, and he was like, "We need to, we need to get you doing a book." It is such uh, a thing, a really powerful thing, uh, to be to be heard and to be validated in such a way. I think it's impossible to be alive right now and not have something to say. I uh, also think it's impossible to be functional right now and not have some kind of therapeutic way to deal with all of this kind of turbo boosted information and um, very uncertain future for our planet. Uh, I, th I think that we would be fools not to take what's happening now seriously. I feel invigorated, I feel uh, like excited for what we're gonna do next. I can't really say how lucky I feel to have had, yeah, just so much um, support at different different types and that support sometimes was just this is good work you know sometimes you just need a little bit of that I don't think it has to be this deeply private tormenting thing I think it can also be public uh, social and celebratory like this also gives me time you know, it gives me time to just relax for a little bit and just focus on what's coming next and on some new work, uh, which I'm, I've already started and I've already kind of got my head to space in a very different space, uh, the space I was in when I wrote The Perseverance. Um, so yeah, I'm excited.